Hi, I'm Brian Venteski, an enterprise solutions engineer here at Kanji. Activation lock is a security feature built into Apple devices specifically for iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. The goal is simple. It's to make it harder for anyone else to use or resell a device that they shouldn't have access to. Here's how it works. Activation lock automatically kicks in when a user enables Find My on a device. When this feature is active, the Apple ID and password associated with that device are required to turn off Find My to erase the device or to reactivate it after a wipe. This helps prevent unauthorized access, even if the device is factory reset. Now, this is really great from a security standpoint, but it can prove a significant challenge for IT admins and organizations. I've spoken to many admins who have a pile of activation locked laptops sitting on their office floor waiting to be fixed so that they can reuse them again. So what can you do to prevent this? There's a few things to consider. The first is to enroll that device in an MDM before the user has an opportunity to log into iCloud, either via ADE or manual enrollment. Now with automated device enrollment, that device is enrolled into an MDM before the user even has an opportunity to log into iCloud. This means that the disallow user-based activation lock payload can be set down before the user even has an opportunity to log in. Now, even with manual enrollment, that can still work so long as the device is enrolled into an MDM before the user logs into iCloud. A second option to consider are open source tools that will check to see if the device is activation locked, and if so, prompt that user to log out of Find My so that the MDM can put down the disallow user-based activation lock payload. I wrote a script called unactivation lock that you're welcome to check out that does just that. Third option to consider, recently Apple added a new feature to Apple Business Manager that allows admins to remove activation lock for any corporate owned devices that you have in your ABM portal. This is a huge boon for admins as it allows them to quickly and easily remove activation lock from devices. If all else fails, contact Apple support. If you have any devices that are still activation locked and any of the previous solutions we've discussed are not an option, reach out to Apple Enterprise Support with proof of purchase that that device is corporate owned and they can assist in helping you to remove activation lock from that device. I hope these tips were helpful. Hopefully the solutions presented here can help make activation lock issues a thing of the past for you and your organization. Take care and we'll see you next time.